Good morning students. In the last video we have discussed one example for B plus tree construction. In this video we will discuss another example for better understanding. Okay, so the order is equal to 4. They have given order is equal to 4. So the internal node order is equal to 4 and leaf node order is also equal to 4. If order is equal to 4, P minus 1, 3 elements maximum I can keep. If I am inserting more than 3 elements, then I will get a overflow condition. Okay, so now I want to insert 1. I will insert 1, there is no problem. And I want to insert 3. So I will insert 3, it is not a problem. Then I want to insert 6, I will insert it, no problem. Remember one thing, all the elements in a node should be in the increasing order. Okay, so next I need to in insert 11, which is greater than 6, so it will come here. If I insert 11, then there is a overflow. If it is a overflow occurs, and as it is in a leaf node, we have to follow the three steps. All these three steps I have explained in my previous videos. I request you to go through those videos. Anyway, I will explain here a little bit. What is the step one? First, P minus 1 by 2 elements should be kept in the left subtree. Remaining elements you should keep it in the right subtree. And minimum of the uh, ele minimum element from the right subtree should be kept in the parent node. So what is the p value here? p value is 4. So 4 minus 1 by 2 which is 3 by 2 is equal to 2. So first two elements should come in the left subtree. So 1 and 3 will come in the left subtree. Remaining elements should come in the right subtree. Okay. And the minimum element from the right subtree should come in the parent node. Okay. So we have constructed the B plus tree with four elements. Now, all the leaf nodes should be connected as the structure consists of key record pointer pair, key record pointer pair, so on. And we at last we will have a single block pointer to connect with the siblings. Okay. Let me erase this one. Now I want to insert 15. Where the 15 will come? 15 will come because 15 is greater than 6, 15 is greater than 11, so 15 will come here. There is no overflow. Okay, so I can insert. Now I want to insert 21. 21 is greater than 6, greater than 15, so 21 will come here. If I insert 21, then it is in overflow and it is in a leaf node. So what we should do? The first two elements should be the first two elements should be kept in the left subtree. What is the two elements are there in the one is 6 and 11 and remaining elements 15 and 21 should be kept in the right subtree and the minimum element from the right subtree should kept it in the parent node. Okay. So this is the B plus tree you will get after inserting 21. Okay. I hope you are understanding. So now I want to insert 32. Where the 32 will come? 32 is greater than 15, greater than 21. So 32 will come here. Are you able to understand? 32 is greater than 15, greater than 21. So 32 will come here. If you see that it does not create any overflow problem, so we can stop here for inserting up to 32. Now I want to insert 25. Where 25 will come? 25 is greater than 15 greater than 21 and less than 32 so it will become an 15 21 25 32 i'm just writing that node alone okay if you see that it is an overflow if it is an overflow what we should do we have to keep the first two elements first two elements in the left subtree okay and Remaining elements you should keep it in the right subtree and the minimum of the right subtree should be placed in the parent node. Okay, then you have 6, 15 and 25. Okay, is it clear? And you have 6 and 11 which is grabbed right side to the cis. And 1 and 3 will be there. 
which is left to the 6. Okay. So, I hope you have understood how I have converted this tree to this B plus tree. Okay. So, now after con pushing the 25 to the parent node, we have to check whether parent node is having a overflow problem or not. Now, it does not have any overflow problem. So, just for small clarification, let me give two more things. Let me give some 38, 41. Okay. Is it clear? I want to insert 38. Where the 38 will come? 38 will come in the greater than 25 and greater than 32. So, 38 will come here. So, it is not a problem. There is no overflow problem. Now, I want to insert 41. Where the 41 will come? 45 is greater than 25, greater than 38. So, 41 will come here. So, it is an overflow problem. If it is an overflow in the leaf node, what should we do? We have to push the 38 to the parent node. So, 6, let me write here, 6, 15, 25 and then 38 will come here. Okay. To the right of 38, you will have 38 and 41. To the left of 38, you will have 25 and 32. Is it clear? Then you will have 15, 21, 6, 11, then 1 and 3. All the leaf nodes are connected. Okay. If I am forgetting anywhere, you please connect all the leaf nodes. Okay. So now if you see that it is a overflow condition. Is it clear? Because the root node is having more than three elements. So what should we do? We have to follow the steps for whenever there is an overflow in the non-leaf node, we have to use the following three steps. I have discussed these three steps in the earlier video, but just for understanding, I am discussing again. What are the three steps? First, P by 2 minus 1 element should be there in the left sub 3. Okay. Smallest from the remaining element should be there in the parent node. And the remaining element should be there in the right sub 3. What is the P by 2? P by 2 is nothing but 4 by 2 is equal to 2 minus 1. So 1 element. So first 1 element. So 6 will come in the left sub 3. Okay. Among the remaining elements, the smallest element, which 15, should push it to the parent node. Okay. And remaining elements will come into the right sub -tree. Okay. Is it clear? Then, you will have 1 and 3. You will have 6 and 11. You will have 15 and 21 to the left of 25. To the right of 25, you will have 25 and 32. To right of 38, you will have 38 and 41. Let me add this. Okay. And all the leaf nodes are connected. Is it clear or not? So, if you see that I have taken all the scenarios, when, when there is an overflow in the leaf node, what we have to do? We have discussed with an example. When there is an overflow in the non-leaf node, what we have to do? We have discussed. So, all the elements we have inserted successfully. So, for the order 4 and the given 10 elements, this is the B plus 3. Okay. Thank you so much.